Hello everyone, I am Bharat Singla and welcome to Codeship. Here you will find everything to learn and master competitive programming. So you know the drill with YouTube. If you have not subscribed yet, then make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss any of the future videos. Great. Welcome to the part one on the playlist on bit manipulation. It may look like that it does not hold that much of an importance as compared to DP or graphs, but honestly, I feel that they are quite overhyped. This is equally important, if not more, because you will find a problem on this in almost every code shift contest or every alternate code shift contest. And in fact, in the recent long challenge, there were a couple of them, right? And but I also know that a lot of people have misconceptions regarding what exactly bitwise operators are. Do we have to memorize how each of them works and why do we even need to learn such a seemingly useless topic right but i'll try my best to make sense out of them and i'll try to do that in a quite fun and intuitive way so i hope that you follow along till the last video and join me on this journey of a fun filled playlist great so bitwise operators are simply operators that work bitwise <laughs> okay so when i write 5 plus 5 or 5 plus 7 right so we all must be knowing that this and this these two numbers are in decimal form and they are the operands so 5 and 7 are the operands whereas the plus here is a operator Right. And this is called an operator because it operates on these two numbers. And this is an arithmetic operator. So plus, minus, multiply, divide, all these are arithmetic operators that work in decimal system. Right. But there also exist similarly bitwise operators. So if I write 5 and any bitwise operator, right, let's say and 1 or and 7. So here again, these two are the operands and the AND symbol is the operator, but the AND is a bitwise operator. So this means that it will work bitwise and like basically plus minus divide all of them have some properties, right? Like the plus adds the two numbers, multiply, multiplies the two numbers and they work in a peculiar way. So similarly, each of the bitwise operators has its own attributes as well. So 5 and 1 will, so for any bitwise operator, what the computer will do is instead of working in decimal system, it will work on the bits, basically in the binary form. So 5 will be first converted to its binary form. So 5 we know is 101, one, right? And I'm not be going into the details of how to convert a number, like the binary system is the kind of a prerequisite to this video. So 5 is 101 one, and 1 we know is 0, zero 001. Right, so it will then take the bitwise end of these two numbers in binary form. Right, so it will do whatever it has to do. Right, we'll talk about this operator in greater detail down the codes, and then it will return something. Right, so it will return another number in binary, let's say this, right, or anything. Right, this is not the correct version. The correct answer, in fact, is it will return us 0, 0, 001. Right, but whatever it does. This will be a binary number as well. But 5 and 1 is not equal to a binary number. This gets again converted to 1. Right. So it takes two operands, converts both of them to binary, and then returns and then converts that result from binary to decimal again and gives us that back. So 5 and 1 would be 1. And so this is basically bitwise operators, right? They are no nothing different than arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators are decimal operators and bitwise operators are operators that work on the binary form of a number. Great. So this may not be making a lot of sense now, but once we study about some popular and various bitwise operators, we'll understand this better. So let's move on to the first one. That is the bitwise and. Great. So what it does is again, let's say I take a few number, uh, two numbers, right? And if they are always of not the same length in binary, 
then we can always append some zero, prepend some zeros instead, right? So we have these two numbers and we take the bitwise and. So what it does is it will take each of the corresponding bits. So this bit, this bit, this bit, and this bit. So each of the ones in the in a column, and it will take the bitwise and of these two bits. So bitwise and will give us one. as the result at that corresponding position if both the bits are one otherwise it will give us zero so i can say that if i have zero bitwise and with zero so this is obviously zero zero bitwise and with one is also zero one bitwise and with zero is also zero but one bitwise and with one is one so this is what is known as a truth table right so if you know this you basically know how an operator works and these are all the possibilities of arranging two bits and these are all the results that we get so what is the resultant number that we'll get here so 1 and 1 and 0 will give us 0 0 and 0 will give us 0 1 and 1 will give us 1 and 0 and 1 will give us 0 and this result will be again converted to decimal so that's how the bitwise and is being calculated and now to make it a bit a bit more logical you don't need to memorize this right a lot of people may be telling you that you have to memorize this for all the bitwise operators but you have to kind of figure out some better ways to do this right so bitwise and is pretty logical itself right if you know about english if you know english you know bitwise operators as well what in english does and mean it means that if two conditions are given and will only give us true will only give us like it will only validate them if both of them are being satisfied like if i say that i will drink water if i am feeling thirsty and there's a bottle close to me right so both of the conditions must be met only in that case i will drink water right so that's how you can understand this better and and we all know that if you do not know so a one a set bit or an on bit is denotes truth and zero denotes fallacy right so zero and one stand for true and false as well so basically so now getting it that only when both of the conditions are met when the first condition is true one is true and the second condition is also true only then their and will be true otherwise we are going to get zero and there's another way so you can also take it like if you have an if condition right so you say if true and false right so you actually write and or maybe and and but if so you can take it like this as well right so if t and f basically if true and false and then you have some code block here right so when will this get executed so we know that these logical operators and or and all so and needs both of them to be true right only then the code inside get executed so this is the truth table you don't have to memorize this it is pretty intuitive so this way these are two good ways right and means both the conditions to be satisfied in english as well and there's this way also to memorize this right so when does a code block get executed if in the if condition you have true and and then the bitwise operator and then another condition so the code block only gets executed if it is true and true right so only one and one will give us one otherwise we will get zero so now coming on to another operator that was about the bitwise and now coming on to the bitwise or right denoted by this pipe symbol and this again let's take up two numbers and if i take the bitwise or of these two so it will again take each of the corresponding bits so in my result i will have one or one this is one zero or zero this is zero one or zero this is one and then zero or zero is zero so this is our result and again what the truth table of this looks like is you have 0 or 0 this 
से जीरो जीरो और वन इज वन वन और जीरो इज वन अगेन एंड ऑब्वियसली वन और वन इज वन सो अगेन यू डोंट हैव टू मेमराइज दिस टूट टेबल वॉट डज और मीन इन इंग्लिश और मीन्स दैट इफ आई एम थर्स्टी और देर इज अ वॉटर बॉटल नियर मी आई विल ड्रिंक वॉटर सो इफ एनी ऑफ द कंडीशन इज मेट इफ एनी ऑफ दम इज ट्रू आई विल डू दैट आई इट विल गेट ट्रू सो हेयर only in this case right we are getting a zero because none of them is true in this also at least one is true in this also at least one is true and this is the icing on the cake in this both of them are true right so this is the bitwise or operator and again you can take that if you have an if condition in your code and then you have some code block that so when will it get executed if you have the or operator so if you have true or false so it gets executed if you have true or true again it gets executed but if you have false or false it does not right so this is the same any of the bits should be one in that case you will get a one great right so i hope you are following along till here and now the last one for this video is left right which is the bit wise not right denoted by this exclamation sign If you are from languages like C plus plus or Java, not Python, not Python. So then you might be knowing what this does. So this is a little different because this is a unary operator. The two operators that we saw above, bitwise and bitwise or, they were binary operators. Like by means two, so they take two operands, right, and then they operate on their bits. But bitwise not takes only one operand, so it is a unary operator. so if i write not zero this is one if i write if i write not one this is zero again and i'm sure i don't need to explain all that again you obviously know how to remember this right so these are the three bitwise operators and we are going to discuss more about them and why do you actually need them in the future videos but for this one this wraps it up so i hope you guys enjoyed the video If you liked the video, then make sure to smash that like button and also comment down any query that you have in the comment section. So this is Bharat Singla from Code Chef signing off for now, and I will see you next time.